What's going on everybody? Geek here with a quick um, settings video and information video for getting ready for New World. Uh, it is pre-downloaded now onto uh, Steam or through Amazon depending where you purchased it. Uh, Steam went live with the preload this morning. Uh, all you got to do is go to Steam, search for New World, and you can if it comes up it's already in your game library, you click on play now and it'll do the download. Is what I want to talk about now is the game setups and the settings, which you can go do now. You cannot log in and build your character, get a name or anything, but you can launch the game once you have it installed and go to settings and get your stuff set up so you're ready to go. First, before you do that, though, uh, I recommend going in, doing a Windows update. All you got to do is type in Windows at the bottom. It should do the populate. Make sure all your Windows is up are updated, all the settings and everything else. And then depending on whichever driver you have, if you have <clears throat> uh, NVIDIA, I have a 3090 FE. Uh, just come in here, make sure you have the latest driver. Uh, I already, I've already updated mine. The new one came out on the 20th of September. So make sure that's updated. That's just something they're recommending. If you have AMD drivers, you go to, I'll put the links in the description below. This come down here, you can do the download now if you want to have it automatically detected for you. Or if you know your products, you can come in, put them in there, the 6900 XT, whatever, which one ever you have, NVIDIA or uh, AMD, either one. Then, what I want to talk about now is the game settings. We're going to come in here, and i got to make sure I pulled up my cheat sheet on the left here. Uh, as some of you remember, in the preferences, there were people that were talking about... Um, Issues with the game killing off graphics cards. Uh, that was specifically some of the graphics cards due to an open FPS just running amok, causing temperatures to go way up and some and, and some caps to pop. Uh, EVGA was kind enough. I think they re, re, uh, sent RMAs, replaced all the ones that popped, uh, I believe. So what we want to talk about first uh, is we're, we're going to talk about Windows settings and some other stuff. I run full screen. My gaming monitor is 2560 by 1440 or 1440p. Make sure that your mon your resolution matches your monitor. The brightness and contrast are up to your personal taste. Field of view. Crank that sucker all the way up to 70 if uh, on the PC. All my settings here are set to um, high because I do have a, a little bit higher end PC that can handle all this. If I was to make some changes, I would probably drop uh, effect details down to, to medium if you want. Uh, and then I would change uh, object details. You can change the object details right here down to uh, medium as well. You don't really need those. It's just some rendering details near uh, near and far. The other one I would do and set to low, which gives a lot of people problems, especially if you have an older processor uh, or an older GPU, is set your shadow details too low. Uh, I don't I haven't again. I haven't had any problems when I come to game and stream on this one. Uh, I'll probably set some of these down. I'm gonna have to test that out once we go live um, later uh, to make sure. Uh, I don't show FPS. My VSync is off. I have come to, again. This is under visuals. I have come to max FPS. You have three options: 30, 60, or uncapped. I set mine to 60. Okay, I have an iron new monitor. It goes much higher than that, but I set it to 60. I don't want anything to go over uh, other than that. Uh, player name count by default goes to 15. Again, the the bigger thing on this one is if you have an older processor or uh, it whatnot, you might want to go down to five. Uh, I chose to drop mine down I, at some point. I think it defaults at 15, but I dropped mine down to 10. Okay. Uh, you don't have many months else to do here. We'll go back up to key bindings. There's only thing one did I change it's swap items. I can still use my the numbers on my keyboard to swap the hot swap the weapons, but now there's a button on my mouse that I can hot swap with to go back and forth between the two. It makes it much more efficient. Uh, under preferences, there's not much to change in here. Gameplay, I did make uh, some changes. The first one is enable camera shake. Turn that crap off. Okay, if you want the full experience, so forth, but there's some of the mobs and everything else, that, and since this is an aiming game with your musket or your bows or whatever else, if you're throwing stuff or you're doing range, uh, you kind of want to turn it off because it makes it a little bit more difficult to hit hit your target. Uh, you'll want to make sure that always show reticles on. This puts the target right in the middle of the screen so it can make sure that you're, you're hitting what you're aiming for. Um, 
There's a few other things down here. You can turn on, what was it? Uh, show extra ability cooldowns. I turn that on. Always show weapons um, in the gameplay. This lets you see both weapons no matter what. Let's you see what the cooldowns are, the timers and everything else like that. I turn off right here under gameplay. I turn off except dual invites. I love the PvP in this game, and anyone that knows me knows I do not like PvP in most of the games I play, but I do enjoy the PvP in this game with how they've implemented it. However, if I'm out doing world fights and everything else like that and, and running with guys and doing and, and my team and doing dungeons and mining and harvesting and all that stuff, I'm trying to get materials for life skilling and everything else. Turn off the dual invites because there's are there are people out there that'll run up to you, challenge you to a duel to interrupt you while somebody else grabs the nodes and takes your your stuff right out from underneath you. So really much just turn that off. If you want to turn it on, then you can later on, but that's the big one I turn off. Again, we already went over the visuals. Uh I run full screen and alt tab to get to another monitor if I want. You could do windowed if you so choose to, if you have two monitors. Uh, whatever you do, my recommendation, though, is to do full screen. Um, I seem to have no problems with that one. Under communications, uh, this top one here, voice chat mode. By default, it's enabled. This means that everybody that has a microphone in your area can be heard chatting and coming through your speakers or your headphones. Set this to group only or disable. We use Discord, so 99% of the time I don't have it, but I have it to group only just in case I picked up a rando and they want to talk. I don't necessarily want to mess with getting them on my Discord. I do am one of those weird people that actually have speakers. I don't put everything through my headphones. I'm weird. I'm an old man. I like my desktop speakers separate and everything, but you can choose your speakers uh, and in everything. Uh, I don't know why it's not defaulting here. I have a Yeti, um, but since I don't use it, it doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> and then you can do your microphone volume. You can control stuff for everything in here. I don't mess with too much anything else. Social, you can turn on. Twitch, you can link. I've already linked my Twitch stuff. Uh, I do stream but I don't have that enabled at the moment. Again, the biggest one is making sure that you have your resolution set correctly, that you come in. Uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and I'll show the settings um, to what you might want if you have a medium uh, system with the, an older processor, say like in 1660 uh, or something along those lines. Again, I would set your video quality you, you, you probably to medium. I would set your effects details to medium. You can leave the lighting default details at high. Object details to medium. Uh, pro post processing detail you can set to medium or high. Uh, it doesn't really affect the performance from what I have seen. Shadow details. This is the big one though that gives a lot and can help your FPS quite a bit. Luckily, this is an MNO, so not so much. But you would probably change this one to low. It does impact the look of the game a little bit for whatnot but uh lower medium is something i would do this terrain details uh you can go with a medium setting on this one um as well as texture and water details you could probably go medium just fine i don't show ps there's no reason to show it i mean you can if you want to but i don't v-sync again i have off for those of what are wondering what v-sync does it prevents tearing uh, top end frame rates and stuff, it eliminates screen tearing. At lower end rates, it can put a little bit of an input lag in it. I just turn it off. It's not really needed for MMOs, even with the PvP and everything. Again, it's a personal preference. My system can handle it. Um, I put my, my FPS at 60, capped it there. Nameplates at 10. You can, again, if you have an older processor, drop it down to 5. You can probably go lower, but 5 seems to be a good uh, amount. Um, and then uh, you can keybind quality of life stuff here. I did a lot of time in the closed beta and a little bit of the open beta. Hot swapping instead of being reaching over, and moving your your your, your and taking your hands off your movement on your keyboard, um, and and being able to hot swap to your weapons using just a single mouse click. Uh, highly recommended. It's under um, key bindings, action swap activity. So the only ones I've changed in here, but you can customize everything that you want. This is the only one that I actually went in and changed. People can do whatever they want. And then preferences, not much to change there, except for bandwidth mode, okay? The bandwidth mode I will talk about. 
I have mine set to medium. I have 1.5 gig up and down. It doesn't really matter. But I also stream and game from the same PC. So I don't want the game to trump my streaming process. So I set it medium. If I am just gaming, then I'll, I'll come in here and set it to high. But bandwidth mode for those, if you're just gaming, you're not streaming or anything like that, set it to high. It gives the game priority for all the maximum bandwidth possible. Now, that's only, typically you're not going to really see an issue with this one unless you have like a dial-up quality, really lower end um, kind of connectivity or you're on like a cable modem or something like that where they like to throttle the crap out of stuff over time. So just just be, be uh, aware of bandwidth mode under preferences and then come to gameplay. Camera, it's up to you. Sensitivity is up to you. Turn off the game shake, uh, enable camera shake. Just it makes life easier if you're aiming, if you're playing with a bow or a musket or something. Um, show the radical it helps you with aiming if you want to turn off if, so be it I play with it on um, this one you'll want to be able to see whatever you can do with it if you want to trade with the player or whatnot if you turn it off had a couple people do that they turn it off it takes away from being able to interact with people so leaving it on probably would be my recommendation um, <clears throat> health and stuff being able to see that's just fine um, always show the weapons. If you don't have it on, turn it on. That'll show you the two weapon slots that you have on and what their cooldowns are. So extra ability cooldowns. Here's a little bit more timer, more and more information of what's going on with those, especially if you're uh, PvPing and cooldown timing counts. Um, except a dual invites. Only turn that one on when you're really wanting to duel. If you're out farming, mining, or whatever else, turn it off. It's going to get annoying if you get some jerks that come along and decide to just, hey, look, we're going to interrupt you and steal your note. Not bueno. Uh, if you guys do this or practice that, you're dicks. Don't do it. Uh, I get it's a game and all that other stuff, but if somebody got there, be respectful, man. It's like kill stealing back in the day. Um, the rest of the stuff is just preferences that you want to mess with. Some of Most of it's off by default. Uh, are on by default, so it's really up to you. Visuals, again, we already did that one. Audio, it's music preferences. How long do you want it to be? Since I run a different setup with my, my game going through speakers on my desktop and home theater, I don't really care. A lot of you guys are going to be using headphones. Be leery of that one, what you're going to do. You can come in here and mess with the change. I usually... I love the cutscenes in this game. They've been great so far, but the music, I turn the music and ambient music sounds down because it a lot of times it just it's too much for me. Again, then under communications, voice chat, I'll use the group, leave it to group only, uh, knowing that most of my friends are going to be using the Discord. If it becomes annoying, then I'll come in and I will disable. These are all things you can do on the fly in the game. The graphical settings, uh, not so much. Uh... And then, yeah, you can also use the push to talk, which is default, which is fantastic. Uh, I don't do much with the social or anything else. But those are what you can do inside the game now. You can go do that. So update your Windows software. Make sure there's no Windows updates pending. Get the latest game driver. Get it installed. Make sure that's good. Go to Steam or wherever you got the game. Launch it to say, hey, I need to install it. Get the game installed. Load this up. And then come in. Click on the, the gear settings. And get those settings made up. And if you have questions, hit me up in the comments below. If you like the content, please let me know. I'm going to be doing a little bit more technical scrubs once we have it up and going for those that are streaming the game. Uh, and then we will be doing some beginner guide stuff. Uh, there's a bazillion of them out there already. And I find a lot of them are convoluted and not easy to quickly get into it and spend quite too much time. So I'm going to do a quick breakdown in each one. Uh, if you have questions or, or confusion on something uh, that you're trying to do in the game, let me know. I will be streaming as it goes launched um, and having a good time. Uh, again, I thank you guys and gals and gamers for all of your support. You guys are amazing and um, you're just fantastic. So if you have any questions, comments below. If you need anything, hit me up. Um, and until then, I will see you guys in the game. Stay safe.